When you're installing GeoPandas, you aren't just installing GeoPandas. You're installing a million and one other things to go with it. Sometimes this can be a little tough, so I'm going to walk you through it. If you can't tell, this is the video for OSX. On a Mac, I'm going to assume you followed my instructions about how to install Python. If you didn't follow those steps, this process might work or it might not, no guarantees. If you didn't install Python with my instructions and you do run into problems, it might be best to go back, follow my steps to reinstall Python and try this whole thing again. All right, let's get started. GeoPandas is built on a few spatial technologies that are not Python. Most importantly, Geos, right here, and GDAL, right here. You can install them a handful of ways, but we're going to take the easy route. The easy route that isn't only easy, but it also leaves our computer pretty clean and makes it easy to uninstall if we need to. We're going to install this software using Homebrew. If you followed my Python setup instructions, you used Homebrew before, so you don't need to install it. So let's get installing. First, we're going to take this line, brew install gdoll, which means, hey Homebrew, please install the software package gdoll for us. We're going to run this by opening up the terminal and typing the command, brew install gdoll. We're going to run it, and Homebrew is going to start downloading it. It's going to install it. It's going to install any dependencies it might need. So it might take a little while to get through this entire process. What you're looking for when you're doing this is error messages. Make sure you read all of the text that scrolls by at the end. So if you see anything in red, anything that really looks like an error, let me know. If things seem like they aren't working, just let me know. I'm sure you're not the only one with that particular setup and that particular problem, and I'd like to get it installed for everyone. This right here, not an error message. We can just ignore it. So now that I've installed GDAL, I'm going to install Geos. It's already installed. And I'm also going to install Spatial Index. We don't need this package called spatial index, but eh, we kind of need it down the road depending upon what we're going to do. So I'd rather not have to install it again later. Great, so it looks like they all installed wonderfully. Once that's all handled and all of these non-Python software packages are installed, we're going to install the Python packages that we need. So we use pip to install Python packages. Right here, I tell us to use pip3 install. The reason I'm saying use pip3 is because we want to install for Python 3, not for Python 2. Python 3, wonderful and perfect. Python 2, terrible and bad. If pip3 doesn't work for you, uh, you can just try installing with the pip command, but hopefully pip3 will work. So let's talk about what these packages are. First up, we have Pillow, which is for image processing. We have PySAL, which is in theory for advanced spatial analysis. We'll probably just use it for coloring maps. GeoPandas, which is of course the whole point of all of this. It's a spatial analysis library that lives on top of Python. This one right here is BaseMap, uh, which allows us to draw a certain kind of maps using matplotlib. That's another one that we really don't need, but I just like it, so I'm making you install it. And then we have Aratree here, which is for simple spatial analysis. These are all pretty standard packages to install, so you shouldn't have any crazy errors. The only weird thing is that when we install BaseMap, for some reason, we need to actually download the file from GitHub. So it's a crazy install line, but I promise that's the way we're supposed to do it. So once again, we're going to open up terminal and we're going to do each of these commands. pip3 install pillow should install pillow for us. pip3 install pysal should install pysal for us. 
I already have installed these. I uninstalled them so I could walk you through the process. So these might take a little bit longer on your computer. For the matplotlib base map one, we are actually just going to cut and paste that because I don't want to type all of that out. If you install base map through some other way or some newer version, that's also totally fine. Uh, you don't need to worry about it. It's all okay. Additionally, if you paid attention in the video about other libraries that Python depends on, you might notice we're missing a few. We're missing Shapely, Fiona, Descartes, important parts of GeoPandas. The thing is though, GeoPandas will automatically install those when GeoPandas is installed. So what we're installing now are mostly optional add-ins that add to GeoPandas but aren't required for us to use GeoPandas. But again, if you run into any problems, if you're getting any red text, any error messages, uh, things saying permission denied, things saying we can't compile this, things saying versions are wrong or nothing will work, just let me know because I'm sure you're not the only one and we'll get those problems fixed up. So now let's sit around for base map for a while and see how long that takes. Now that base map is installed, we're going to finish up with pip3 install r tree. And now the r tree is installed, we have geopandas and we have all of the add-ins that I think we're going to need for the rest of our work. So congratulations, you're all set.